Hi guys, what's up? Cece back with another video. And I know I said we wouldn't have a haul for a while, but your girl got a little caught up. So we're doing another beauty haul. Really talking about corporate and productivity and just how we're advancing our careers, how we're thinking about our careers as black women in corporate America. So what's up you guys? I'm so excited to be back. It's been a minute since I've done a sit down video. I don't think it's been a minute since you guys have seen one, but it's been a minute since I have done one. And so I'm really excited to be filming today. And I have all of these amazing goodies to show you guys. So after this, you guys, I promise, there probably won't be another beauty haul for a while, but some really good things came out right after the Sephora event. And I was like, I kind of have to get them, like have to get them. And I'm super excited about some of the stuff that I got. So we're just going to dive right in. I got some things from Sephora, some things from Pat McGrath, and then I got some things in PR that I thought I would just show you guys that I have actually not tried yet. I'm always just looking for ways to improve my skin in any way I can. Look at this, you guys. First of all, Nobody come for me, okay? My skin is so sunburnt and it is peeling right now. But I was like, I want to do this video with some makeup on. I haven't put makeup on in like a week. I want to put some makeup on. I want to look cute. And my forehead just will not let me be great because it's peeling. So, um, yeah, because of that. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Future CC here. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, but I wanted to show you guys some of the products that I got from The Body Shop. So, first of all, I want to thank Magic Links and The Body Shop for partnering with me on this portion of the video, but I had to show you guys some of the things that I got that just came in. So, The Body Shop, first of all, I never thought about shopping for skincare with them, but then I asked around and I was like asking my family and friends, and apparently people have been shopping at The Body Shop for skincare for ever so I was definitely missing out there so let me show you guys some of the things that I got first of all I heard such great things about their vitamin e line this is a line that has been around since the 70s and it's supposed to be majorly hydrating so I wanted to get something from that line so I ended up getting the vitamin e overnight serum in oil and it's for all skin types so I've been talking to you guys recently about wanting to try some new skincare products and so I'm so excited to give these a whirl so this is definitely going to be an overnight serum you guys know I'm oily skinned even though it's for all skin types this will be something that I use overnight just you know to have my skin looking nice and glowy and kind of soak into my skin and give me that hydration I need as I sleep and then when I wake up I'll put on the more mattifying products so really excited to try that I love using an oil at night I I'm not currently using one but I've used them several times in the past and they definitely have been my favorite overnight type product so some of the best sellers at the body shop are definitely these are the things that i know the body shop for and that is their um body butters so i just got the body shop the body shop body butter i got it in shea and it's for very dry skin and it has a 96 hour moisture nourishing moisturizer and it's vegan which is awesome but these are the products that i most know the body shop for their body butters because they are just so amazing and moisturizing so I did get me one of these and I think I'm actually going to pack this in my travel bag because I'm going on a trip soon so that's gonna come with me and then I picked up four products from their tea tree line so tea tree is also like one of the best selling lines at the body shop and tea tree is something that I remember using as a kid like on my skin just you know I, I was just told that that it was a great product for my skin and I remember using it a lot as a kid I had really bad acne and so I wanted to try their tea tree line because I feel like I haven't went back to tea tree as an adult and I used to use it on my skin as well as in my scalp so I picked up a gel shampoo this is the tea tree purifying and balancing um gel shampoo and it just looks like this so very excited to use this and just get my scalp a little more hydrated i'm actually thinking about trying this on my daughter's hairs as well so very excited about that i feel like tea tree always gives you kind of like that men menthol like a minty feel in your scalp and on your skin and i absolutely love that I also picked up the skin caring, the skin clearing, I can't read, body wash. And this is also from the tea tree line. So 
I have back knee and I do not have like the clearest skin on my shoulders and chest. So um, using some some type of skin clearing body wash I think will be super helpful, especially since the summertime, you know, trying to show off a little skin, but lose a little weight. So I got to I got to get myself together. I grabbed the three in one wash scrub and mask. I'm actually out of my current face wash. So I thought this would be a great one to try. And it has purifying tea tree oil in it. And it's suitable for blemished skin, which is great because I am in the middle of some bad breakouts over here. <laughs> and then I also picked up the squeaky clean scrub. So this one is also suitable for blemished skin, but it's a face scrub with natural exfoliators, removes impurities and helps unclog pores. So I found that to be interesting and I'll definitely be using that. I love myself a good face scrub, like love a good face scrub. So those are all the products that I picked up from the body shop. You guys, they were kind enough to give me a 15% off discount code. So I will leave the code right here on the screen. And of course, it'll be linked down below with all of these products. Again, thank you to the body shop for partnering with me on this portion of the video. And let's get back to the haul. All right, let's move on. Um, I ended up picking up some things from Amazon, which obviously you can get this stuff wherever they sell it. I picked up the e.l.f. Camo Corrector. So I have been into color correcting lately and I have this like color correcting palette from RMS Beauty. I can't remember where it's from, but I have this color correcting palette and I've been using it lately, but I want a liquid color corrector. I wanted a liquid or a cream color corrector, um, like a stick easier to use. So I picked up the e.l.f camo color corrector and this one's in the shade orange and so it is quite literally orange i didn't color correct today but i'm gonna start using this with like all of my makeup looks color correcting really i feel like makes a big difference in how much product you have to use and just how natural your makeup looks and i always want to go for a more natural makeup look so i want to start color correcting on a regular basis so i picked that one up but then i did a little more research right and i heard people People talking about the Bobbi Brown this is the skin corrector stick in the shade deep peach and I actually got this one from Amazon too and this is what it looks like so it's in a stick form so much much easier to use than the palette that I have and so this is the shade and when I saw this shade I was like yes this is perfect for color correcting because it's not super orange in my opinion and it just looks really really nice it's very smooth and creamy on the skin i can also see myself probably using both of these together just to get a little more like the orangey tones from this one but get a little more neutral tones from this one so i bought both of those we'll see how they work i'm gonna post a video real soon like a makeup tutorial of my like summer full face no sweat mattifying full face routine um, for my makeup routine. So look out for that, you guys. I'm gonna try to film that really, really soon. The last thing I picked up from Amazon, the last thing, right? Yeah, the last thing I picked up from Amazon was this Dior um, Lip Glow Dupe. So everyone keeps talking about those Dior lip oils, right? Those are like $40 though. And I'm no stranger to spending money, but damn, $40. So I saw these like Dior lip glow dupes on Amazon. And this is from, I don't know if these just letters or this supposed to make a word because they know vowels except for the first letter. I don't know, but I'll link it down below. And it's the Cherry Oil Infused Color Awakening Nourishing Glossy Lip Oil. And it looks like this, which is really similar to how the Dior lip oils look. And I just was like, if this works, these were like $7 or $8. And I was like, if this works, I mean, Dior who? It's a very sheer, it has like that oil feel to it. I mean, I don't know. These feel good on the lips. I've never tried the Dior one, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but um, we're going to start using this one. I got it in the shade Cherry. Is it is Cherry Oil the shade? The shade is number 12. Rosewood, that's the shade. But they don't have the shade number or the shade name on the bottle. 
So that's a little, that's a little ding right there. Cause I need to know what the shade name is, but the shade is Rosewood number 12. Okay, so before we get into the Sephora stuff, Pat McGrath was having a large sale. So it was like 30% off of their website. And if you guys remember, like some years ago, I had the Pat McGrath foundation. I used a lot of it. I used it all the time. And then I just kind of stopped using it. And I was like, eh, I'll declutter it. So I decluttered it in one of my declutters, I don't know, over the years. And I started looking at it again when I was on their website. And I was like, you know what? Let's just try it out again. So I picked up the, they had like a whole little kit. And so I picked up the foundation, the primer, the setting powder, the pressed setting powder, and the concealer all together. And it was, it was like 30% off of their website, which is really good. This is obviously a very pricey foundation, but I love these like natural glow, natural finish foundations even though i'm oily hold on I'm trying to open the packaging away from the microphone <laughs> okay so as i was saying even though i'm oily i really do love a natural finish foundation i just i, I love the way my my natural skin just kind of comes through i do have to be a little more careful about it during the summertime and make sure i keep touch up powder with me but the Pat McGrath Foundation, I'm willing to do that. It was so beautiful. And it would have been um, expired now anyway. So I don't feel too bad about repurchasing it after I decluttered it. But here is she. It's the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And like I said, I did get this off the Pat McGrath website. But you can get this from Sephora, obviously. I got mine in the shade Medium 19. And this is the same shade I had before. And this shade like definitely worked for me so well. So this is what it looks like. We love her so, 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 so much. It's, again, it's this beautiful like medium coverage, natural finish foundation. And I think it just looks so beautiful, especially for like a nice summertime look. So we got to get a full face of Pat McGrath going here real soon. Um, because I did end up picking up the primer. Now, I had never tried the primer. That just was not on my list of things to try when this foundation came out. So um, we're going to try it this time and see what it does. Let me see. The primer, does it have the claims on the box? It does not have the claims on the box. But I, yeah, we're, we're going to try that out. I picked up the loose setting powder which again i did not try out the loose setting powder before so this is the setting powder in medium three or did i try this out maybe i did get this so this will be more of a skin color a skin toned setting powder so this i would set my entire face with um this setting powder right here now that i'm looking at it i feel like maybe i did get the loose powder and i did declutter it maybe but i don't know we have it again i also picked up the concealer in m15 and i loved this concealer this is another one that um that really just expired on me and so i had to get rid of it but this concealer was so amazing so i had to pick up another one of the concealers and then they had this powder on clearance hold on I hate the little, if you guys ever order from Pat McGrath, they put the little little thingies in the bag. I don't know why they do that. That is a waste of money and it's annoying. Um, they could just bring down the prices and, and we wouldn't need those. But anyway, they had this powder on sale. So I love this powder and I still use it. I still have my translucent one. Um, I actually just used it the other day. But this one is in a different color. This one is in the yellow shade. And so they had that actually on sale, so I picked that up. I thought it was a little more yellow, I'm not gonna lie, because this does not look super yellow, but I mean, this powder is so beautiful and so blurring. I mean, I love it to death. I love this powder so, so much, and I use it all the time for underneath my eyes. So, I picked up basically an entire Pat McGrath face, and um, you guys will be seeing these products very, very soon. Okay, lastly, let's move into what I picked up from Sephora. And I'm so excited about all of them, okay? Oh, 
I finally got my hands on the new Dior blushes. Have you guys seen these blushes like everywhere? They've definitely gone viral and I finally got my hands on them. Like they were, I think they were in select Sephora stores. They were not in my Sephora's. Um, I have what? three Sephora's around here and they were not in any of them which was really disappointing so I had to order them online when they became available I ordered them the day they became available and I got three of the shades these are such beautiful shades the first one is the these are the Dior rosy glow blushes and the first one is in number 15 cherry like I can see myself just wearing this all summer I should have put this on today but it's so beautiful. Like, look how, look at that shade. So pretty, right? And then I picked up number six, Berry. Another just everything shade. Really good for my beauties with the melanin in us, okay? These shades are really, really good for deeper skin tones. And then this is the one I was the most excited about. Like, I was the most just excited to look at and try and swatch and use and it is number 20 mahogany how beautiful how beautiful like especially on like a really really brown skin woman like oh my god somebody like even a few shades like darker darker than me um this would be so pretty i feel like this is gonna be pretty on my skin tone but i feel like on a deeper skin tone y'all y'all like this is going to be everything so i can't wait to try out these blushes i'm so excited about them and you know i just i wanted them so badly let me see i'm doing a swatch oh, that's how mahogany swatches i feel like i could even use this as like a light contour shade yeah i might be able to use this as a contour shade how pretty so gorgeous okay so that's those then I purchased those and of course something else came out and this is where my excitement really got the better of me because one size came out with new setting powders. I was praying they came out with minis but they didn't so I had to purchase the full size but the one size ultimate setting powder you guys know this is probably my all-time favorite setting powder in the translucent i have the translucent i use it all the time i think i've repurchased it twice at this point and like they came out with a pink one and they came out with a sweet honey which is like a deeper yellow shade so i actually couldn't wait and i'm wearing these today i'm wearing the pink underneath the eyes and i'm wearing the sweet honey shade all over the face to set my face you guys i'm so totally done when i say these setting powders are amazing why does any other setting powder even try like i mean one size just has hit after hit after hit after hit like they do not miss okay and I, I don't even know why I continue to purchase other setting powders and use other setting powders. And I'm putting a lot on this because this is literally my all-time favorite setting powder at this point. And I just love the blurring effect that it gives. And the shades do not disappoint. Like the, the formula has not changed with the new shades that came out, baby, okay? So I tried a pink setting powder a few months ago in one of my vlogs. I tried the Morphe pink setting powder and it just was not hitting for me and I don't know if it was the color or the setting powder that I didn't like but something wasn't hitting for me about the formula I wasn't in love with it and I just didn't see the hype so I kind of written pink setting powders off I was like oh they're just not for me you know I'm just not going to use them but when I saw one size was coming out with one I was like I got to give it one one more go one more go for one size because I know they do not miss and they did not miss, okay? I have this underneath my eyes, and when I say I put this underneath my eyes, and it was such a beautiful blurring effect, like what? Baby, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, get the setting powders. If you have not tried, if you don't try anything else out of this video, get the setting powders. So I love this combination where you can use the pink one underneath the eyes, and then you can go ahead and use the sweet honey all over the face and it, it's beautiful my face looks minus this my face looks so beautiful so smooth this is gonna keep me matte all day I know it will because my other setting powder does that and I'm just in love 
they don't miss at that brand. I don't know what they're doing at them labs, at the one size labs, but whatever they doing, they need to keep it up. Like I can talk about these setting powders all day and the amazingness of them. And I'm just, I'm so in love. So and needless to say, like I said, if you don't get nothing else in this video, pick up the setting powders. Just pick them up. Just try them. You can take them back if you don't like them, but try them. Okay, just a few other items. I also picked up a little Pat McGrath palette because this was like on clearance on Sephora's website. So I have the neutral one of these. These are the mini eyeshadow palettes. This one's a Midnight Voyage. I have the neutral one that I bought during the Sephora sale, but this one was on sale. I think it was like 15 bucks or something. So I ended up picking it up. I think the purples are so pretty and I can do some really cute looks with this. So I did grab that. And then I just grabbed two miscellaneous items. The first one is the Purifying Peel Mask. This is the Fruit Acids Purifying Peel Mask by Sephora brand. So I picked that up. Again, I'm always looking for ways to improve my skin. So I wanted to just see how that works. And I love me a good peel off mask. Those are my fave. And then lastly, House Labs also came out with a new lip oil. So I picked that up. And I don't know if this is the mini or if this is the regular size, but it was like $14. This has to be the mini. So this is the House Labs like little clear lip oil. I believe there were other shades, but I just ended up picking up the clear to see if I like it. I love me a good juicy, oily, clear gloss, especially in the summertime that I can just put on my lips without anything else. And my lips just look good and juicy and oily and just so pretty. So I love me a good clear gloss. But that is it, you guys. That's everything that I picked up for this round. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love, love, love the products that I picked up and I can't wait to test them out in some future videos with you guys. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. I appreciate you watching until the end. And if you wanna see any of these products in a more in-depth video, I'm probably gonna do it anyway, but let me know down below what you wanna see first. Love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.